summer is coming to a close as it does every August each year and hopefully many of you were able to create lasting memories over these sunny days. Next we have a story about one local family that does just that with a family reunion every two years. And as we found out, this group has an interesting history. This looks like any other family reunion in America, but it's not. It took over 140 years for the Howard Holland family reunion to take place. And so they, we just always do shirts, and I have all of the shirts. <laughs> it all started here in Sandy Spring in the 1850s. Two brothers, Thomas and William Howard, escaped slavery in Montgomery County for freedom in Canada, leaving their Howard family behind. When they got to Canada, because Canada early outlawed slavery, when they got to Canada, they changed their names, and so that's where, that's where we get the Holland name. And they actually um, uh, uh, settled in Hamilton, Windsor area, and of course then they, had, they married and had uh, children, and no one really talked about that history until later on. Later on wasn't until 1991. A family historian remembered hearing about a story of two brothers escaping to Canada. He remembered this story about two brothers coming up to Canada and said, gee, you know, I should see if there's, the brothers lived, obviously there's a family, if they didn't, we should make sure they have a proper grave, uh, grave site. So he came up to Canada and found this great big huge family. And so this is the product of the American Howards and the Canadian Howards who became Hollands. The first reunion was in Scarborough, Ontario in 1992. When we first had it in Canada in 1992, we had 400 people. We didn't know each other for Adam, but there was a connection. Or I would have an American cousin come up and say, oh, you've got to see so-and-so, you are a spitting image. It's important for me to be here. We have nine generations, and we still live in the same neighborhood that where they were slaves, where they were freed, where they bought land and they raised their families. So we meet every two years. Uh, this is our turn here in Montgomery County. This year, Borough Park in Gaithersburg held the biannual reunion for the North and South. Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> Canada, <laughs> Windsor. As we were walking, my little one said, I just knew we came from a big family because here in Maryland, you know, my immediate family small, but you know, when you get your extended family together, it's really fun. There aren't many differences between these Canadian and American cousins maybe a slight language barrier. There's accents, I mean, some of them, they love, they think we say about funny, I don't, but they do, they all say, say about, <laughs> you know? The other difference? Chicken is uh, good. Well, maybe the American style of grilling. We like to take our time, barbecue slow. <laughs> but more importantly, these long lost cousins have found over the years that they share a common bond. A lot of the American cousins had a lot of the same professions that the Canadian cousins had. There's lots of teachers, lawyers, there's lots of labor organizers. I was the executive director of the National Conference of Black Mayors. I'm the first black female federal mediator. My sister is an attorney. And we've got lots of firsts, and um, Carla, his daughter, is a first judge. There's a tradition in this family of people doing good things, getting their educations, and contributing to society. And the sense of, well, if they've accomplished that, then I can accomplish that. If we've got judges and lawyers, why can't I be a judge and lawyer? You need to see yourself represented in the greater society and know that you, you've contributed and, and be told that you need to contribute and give to the next generation. This is a family that lives by the African proverb of you stand tall because you stand on the shoulders of your ancestors. This circle here, that's from the Howard um, uh, side, past, present, future. So when we came together, we added this one. And it's basically people dancing around a fire. And then he said, our fire has been rekindled. Our circle has been mended. So that's sort of like, that's American one. This is the Canadian one, but we do, we've, we've adopted both of them. This is a very loving family that has a tremendous legacy of working and helping people. And uh, we're very fortunate that our great-grandfather, Thomas John Holland, escaped from a plantation here in Montgomery County and escaped to uh, Canada, and specifically Hamilton, Ontario. So that's the, that's the short and sweet history of the family. 
a short and sweet history that led this family finding itself over 140 years later.